Hey everyone, Tara Melton here, and today I'm going to walk you through our Android Motion Photos artifact that you will find in Axiom. Motion photos on an Android mobile device are kind of similar to live photos that you might see on an iOS device, in that an Android device will take a few seconds of video surrounding the photo being taken if motion photos were enabled, and those additional frames can give you some added context to those photos and really add to your examination. So first I'm actually going to start out in the file system view in Axiom Examine so you can really see where this artifact is coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the file system view and let that load. And within this list of photos here, a really good indication of these motion photos is that the file name will generally start with that MVIMG for moving image. Over on the right you'll see a preview of the still image, but if you dig in deeper and look at the hex of these files, you'll actually be able to find the file header of an MP4 stored within that JPEG ex itself. So I just did a search for that mp4 header, and there you can actually see where that mp4 file begins within this motion photo. So that's what this artifact is going to do for you, that's what Axiom is going to do, it's going to carve out that mp4 and show, show you that alongside that still photo. So let's switch over to the artifacts view and let's see what that looks like. I'm going to focus in on that motion photos artifact. And again, you'll see a preview of that still image, but within this artifact, you can also play the entire uh, motion photo video here as well. So using this as an example, you can kind of see that the beginning of the video here provides a little bit more detail and context to this photo. So for example, you wouldn't otherwise be able to see that sign um, in the beginning of this video here if you were only looking at that still image. Within Axiom, you can even right click within the video and take a, a snapshot of that frame uh, to your workstation. You can save that to your workstation if you wanted to include it in your reporting. And in Axiom, you can even go to the full screen mode and make it easier to view if you would like to do it that way. You can even change the speed of the video and slow it down or speed it up uh, to be able to review it that way as well. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize that. And then using the EXIF data that we pull from these motion photos, you can see that there's a bunch of additional information that we have listed here to include GPS points. So I can go ahead and switch to the world map view and actually see where these motion photos fall on that map. I can zoom in and actually click on those map points and see which photo is associated with each plotted location. Switching over back to the column view, I'm going to go ahead and scroll back down to the uh, the artifact information and you can see that within the EXIF data we actually pulled out additional dates and times as well so this can be really helpful when you're building a timeline of events around these photos. I can click that clock icon and it allows me to build a filter on that time and switch over to our timeline view and see the other artifacts that are associated with that date and time uh, within that filter throughout my case. So definitely make sure that you're looking at this artifact when examining an Android device. You might be able to pull out some additional data that you would otherwise be missing. And make sure you check out the blog from our Director of Forensics, Jessica Hyde, that details this information as well. You'll be able to find it in the Resource Center on MagnetForensics.com. Let us know if you have any questions or comments, and thanks for watching.